Dallas and Fran. Because they, they coming to Dallas soon. They retake the division. Seattle, probably some of the biggest frauds in the NFL. Yeah, they started out uh, hot as hell. They're coming back down to earth. Mm-hmm. Uh, three and three. Lost the division now. Um, can San Fran continue to prosper forward without no CMC? Obviously. Until November, you got, what, 32 more games? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Three That's more games? November. Or, ooh. I don't know, bitch. It's gonna. Hey, all I know is that when we come off our break, 49ers we gonna hand it to them. I'm just keep it, man. I just hey. So y'all beating the 49ers? Bro, we're beating the 49ers. 23-17, Cowboys. We, I'm telling you, we are gonna find a way. We're not gonna let out. We done Start playing, bro. We're done. <laughs> No, I'm saying welcome back, man. It's it takes. Uh, Monday night, we're wrapping up week six, rolling into week seven. I gotta get my life together, man. <laughs> I have honestly got to get my life together. Doge, how you doing today, bro? I mean, you know, I had a good day. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, hey. Well, actually, terrible weekend. My Cowboys lost. You know what I'm saying? We're going to dive straight into it then. Okay. It was a terrible weekend. Go ahead and get it off your chest. You know what I'm saying? We didn't score no points. It was my man, Nine Jerry points. Jones, 82nd birthday. No touchdowns. We scored zero points. We Hey, we just giving out contracts at this point because yeah, I don't know what's deserve. going on. Our defense can't get not one stop. They went down there on non-possessions. We had nine points. <laughs> like, what the hell, bro? We can't get, bro. It can't get no worse, bro. We have the worst, one of the worst red zone offenses, one of the worst rushing offenses. Like, bro, it can't get no worse, honestly. I ain't going to lie. After this bye week, we got to get it together, bro. We got to come Actually next thing half. It's to we see y'all show up every year and every year and every year. Rude for this, this, this star, bro. Like, every year y'all do this, and every year they let y'all down. Every year Dak looks like he could do something to Dak – just shits the bed. Dak, you are a professional shit better now. I ain't gonna lie. You are a shit bed Prescott now. This shit is it's getting it's bad. bad. Like, cause at this point, like, you know, home turf ain't even home turf for y'all. Y'all getting ran out of AT and T. We can't even get a win. We got career. we got uh New Orleans having parades. That was the last time they celebrated a win. <laughs> They down four fucking losses. I mean, hey, all that, you know, you know all Fuck them, that. all them who that nation <laughs> fans, you know, hey, they've been walking out the stadium with their heads we down ain't for heard a month shit straight. since they didn't whip their ass. But Dallas consistently lets people come into their trap, take it over, put their feet up on the table. You know what I'm saying? Shoes on still. You supposed to take your shoes off at the door. Ain't, ain't nobody patting <laughs> nobody down in Dallas. Like this. If we don't got ridiculous. no respect at the crib, bro. This is getting ridiculous. It's, it's getting bad. It's getting out of hand. Folks just showing up, doing whatever they want to do. There ain't no structure. Jerry, you got to hand it over, brother. You have got to let it go. You have got to let it go. Hand it over. We need Dion. And let prime time. You already read my mind. We need Dion. <laughs> it is prime time. We need them. Um, that's bro. the only way I'll probably become a Cowboys fan. Yeah, literally. Here's time to hold Cowboys Nation. If, if, if Travis, the Cowboys we take them off. were smart, they either get Bill Belichick or Deion Sanders. D's getting torched. You know how he got, bro. But in other words, you know what I'm saying? My New England Patriots are one step closer, one win closer, well, one loss closer, my fault, to getting Travis. So, um, not only are we one loss closer, we got to see Drake May, three touchdowns, two interceptions. I like what I see as far as the arm talent, as far as the working through the progressions. Yeah, the two picks, it does worry me. I think they iron that out through time. But I do like this this look of a, of a gunslinging quarterback, of a rocket, you know, Bazooka arm of a quarterback, forty-seven to nine. Like, bro, they was running O lineman plays. You like, know, the worst part about the Dallas Cowboys, bro, bro, was the fact that they stop talking about the Patriots. Yeah, just to go straight, they went second string and third strings for the whole fourth quarter. It was trolley out. Like they was trying to get one of their linemen to score a touchdown so bad, so bad. Like Dan that. Campbell, why you don't like Dallas that much? What did Dallas do to you? Not Understand, they didn't y'all beat them. 
Last like, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably year. what it was. Oh, That's probably why they was trying to be all petty and stuff. But I mean, hey. Fuck the Lions. They ain't going to win nothing anyways. Now, NFC North, let's talk about it. Mm. All of the teams are 4-2. Mm-hmm. Going into the season, I'm not going to lie, I did not expect this. I thought this division was still up in the air as far as who was going to win. But I did not expect one for Minnesota to come out undefeated. I don't think it's, anybody. Hang on, that's gonna be Lions and Minnesota top two. I'm just keeping it man. You thought Minnesota all the way? Nah, hell no. Nah. I thought it was Lions. I ain't gonna lie since last year though. I knew they was they was too cold last year. I wasn't sold on the Lions. Now you sold. Nah, just because they still? beat y'all don't mean it. So y'all are trash. All right, y'all are one of the worst teams that I have ever watched in my life. Yeah, forty-one twenty-one. Put up more points to y'all. Joe Mixon, first game back, he got 100 yards. Anchor injury, first game back. Tank Dell, first touchdown of the year against the Patriots. Stephon Diggs, breakout you against the Patriots. We paying our quarterback? We're killing, hey, we're killing the Patriots. Yes, Everybody how much is. we paying our quarterback? How much? Not even a quarter. What the fuck you paying yours? Trash. But back to the NFC North, man. I believe, honestly... The way that it's all shaping now, I'm going with the Vikings. I think, you know, mm-hmm. O'Connell, quarterback wizard. Obviously, Sam Darnold's figured it out in Minnesota. Literally. He's found a home. He's found a system that works for him. And they're winning games. Justin Jefferson, as long as he can stay healthy, there's not a always corner. Open. There's nobody. Yeah, there's nobody in this world to stop him. Open. I'm sorry. And they still haven't reached their peak offensively because they still don't have Hawkins. Mm-hmm. They still don't got Hawkinson. So it's like, okay, their their ceiling is still like you still don't know how good they can really be. With Brian Flores on the other side, I think I hate to say Minnesota in the Super Bowl because it's like Minnesota in the Super Bowl, but, but Minnesota they, has a shot at making the Super Bowl. Is skinny, they have a shot, boy. but that's only because the NFC is wide open. Yeah, I'm going either the Lions or the Vikings too, like you mm-hmm. said. It's either the Lions or the Vikings. Green I think Bay. We're some regression out of Jordan Love. You know what I'm saying? It's Green Bay could be pretenders. Yeah. Green Bay could very well be pretenders. Mm hmm. Now that you say that, they could very well be pretenders. Yeah. That's kind of scary because, like, why are you in the mix? I didn't expect, like I said, the Bears to come out like that. Hey, all you first week, first two week Caleb, uh, Caleb William haters, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Don't get on that train now, cause hey, all I'm saying is hey, I'm still been, rocking with we've Daniels. been seeing it in college. I'm he is like that. With Daniels, give me Jaden Daniels. But another oh, oh, news. Okay, so wait, if you're going Jaden Daniels, Jaden Daniels and the Ravens, you seen the game? How you like it? What's up? Give me, give me something from the game. My takeaway from it, um, I think that Washington is real offensively. Mm-hmm. If they can continue to play like that I week think they in and week out, some more, uh, another receiver. Bro. They need one more receiver for sure. They, they do. They do throw a lot of check downs. Though. That's all I'm gonna say. They throw um, a lot of check downs. There needs to be a study conducted on Austin Eckler of how he just fell off the face of the earth because he was just like two years ago one of the best running backs in the mm-hmm. league. Honestly, understanding the running back position is so fluid, is so interchangeable. Mm-hmm. It's a top five, different top five every year. So understanding that is kind of like okay, but. Austin Eckler is nowhere where he once was two years ago, not even a year ago. And it kind of it kind of messes me up in the head. I like Brian Robinson out of the backfield. Yeah. They just don't got enough oomph, you know. Yeah, they, don't, they, need no, they need another stool star. I think that they're good enough to get, like, a wild card. You know what I'm saying? Wild card birth. Okay, so is Lamar two-time MVP? Hey, hey he playing like it. That's all I'm going to say. Uh-uh. Is Lamar Jackson the next two-time MVP of the NFL? That's all I'm going to say. Hey, hey. He is playing like it. I'm not gonna lie. He threw for 300. He threw for 300 against the Commanders. Who easy? And Zay Flowers, not to mention Zay Flowers had 132 in the damn first half. Like, come on now, what's up, bro? I'm finna say something crazy. Hmm. Then you got Derrick Henry rushing for 100. You said change. Lamar MVP two times back to back. Obviously, Josh Allen's gonna be in that mix. I'm. I'm. I'm doubling down on on Shiesty. Mm-mm. I'm doubling down on Shiesty. I you think. Gotta win. Yeah, Four yeah. Losses already. Yeah, I know. I know. He ain't won. One of their wins is gonna come against y'all. You're I know. Crazy. But part of me just don't want to believe the Cincinnati's done. Mm-hmm. Part of me doesn't believe the Cincinnati season is just completely over with. Like, part of me believes that they could still figure something out to where they could get a fifth to sixth, maybe even the seventh seed. 
like obviously one of the division is just that's a long yeah, shot. They're, yeah, they're not getting. But in. getting in they're the not. playoffs, I definitely believe that they could get in. I think they split with Pittsburgh. If not, they they sweep them both times. They get them gold. I just, I I don't know. I think the shots. I don't trust still in the enough. mix, bro. Thirteen touchdowns, fourteen touchdowns. However many touchdowns the man got, two interceptions. I'm telling you, that man he ain't the reason why they losing. Defense. You need to stop just like the cab or nah, that can't score the goddamn ball. It, I I just don't see their offense being bad enough to where. They can't win. Yeah, I've seen. Game. Oh yeah, Joe like, ran for fifty first. Yeah, I seen the BA teams. Yeah, week in and week out because that tandem. Mm-hmm. You saw it, Chase Higgins. Yeah, that, that's probably that might be the best one too in the league. Nah, hell no. Nah. As far as receiver duos, name or nothing. Mm-hmm. This better. Nigga. Waddle Hill, but Waddle Nigga Hill, Diggs, Nico you. Collins. What the hell? Come on now, Diggs Collins. That ain't bad. Bengals, okay, so look, the Bengals got the Browns next. Mm-hmm. They can go three and four there. Then they got Philly. Philly loves to shit the bed. I'm not going to say they shit the bed, though. I'm going to say Philly wins. Bengals, damn. That, that would drop three and five. They got the Raiders. That I say they beat the Raiders four and five. Then they got the Ravens. Nah, they're not beating the Ravens. I think they split with the Ravens, Ravens five and five. Ravens, Ravens too cold. Man. I think they split with the Ravens five and five. The Ravens are too Chargers. cold. Steelers, Cowboys, Titans, Browns, Broncos, Steelers. They have a Ra- shot. Ra- I ain't like, Ravens might be one of the best teams in the league, too. We got to say that now. I'm sorry, bro. They have the best rush, best pat. Like, be- if I was, like, number one, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I'm a homeboy. Uh, oh, any boy. more games? Any more games you want to go through that week? Um, last one. Okay. San Fran. Because they they coming to Dallas soon. They retake the division. Seattle, probably some of the biggest frauds in the NFL. Yeah, they started out uh, hot as hell. They're coming back down to earth. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, three and three. Lost the division now. Um, can San Fran continue to prosper forward without no CMC? Obviously. Until November, you got, what, 32 more games? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Three, three more games? November. Or, ooh. I don't know, bitch. It's gonna. Hey, all I know is that when we come off our break, Forty Nine is gonna hand it to them. I'm just keep it, man. I just hey. So y'all beating the Forty Nine, bro? We're beating the Forty Nine ers, twenty three seventeen, Cowboys. We, I'm telling you, we're gonna find a way. We're not gonna let. We done Start playing, playing bro. We're done. Who is that? Who's number one? Curtis Samuel. Samuel. Curtis Samuel. Oh shit. Trash. Trash. I need that bitch secure. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump into the week seven matchups. Man, let's do it. First one, Thursday night football. Mm. Got the Broncos, got the Saints. Sean Payne going against his former team. Bo Nix leading the charge. New Orleans is favored by one and a half. They have lost the last four games in a row. I think it goes five, honestly, you know. <laughs> I'm not a big Who That Nation fan, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I don't have a good quarterback, you know what I'm saying? Spencer Rattler is not y'all hope. Y'all thought he was when y'all got these fluke-ass touchdowns and shit. But, nah. And then I don't know if y'all have Olave EC4. back either. I don't know if they got Olave. So, yeah. Now, I ain't going to lie. I don't think. I'm I'm just, I'm just cute to Ben. I don't think y'all beat the Denver Broncos. Honestly. I think. The, and then, bro, you ain't like they got scrubs on defense. They ain't gonna PS2. Be ball. PS2. Come on, now. Whoever they number one. Who's number one? Uh, for, the, for the Saints? Yeah. She probably then is not Olave hurt. If Olave is hurt, Rasheed's the second. Come on now, yeah, he's on hill. So who you go to now? Taysom Hill. He's out. That's what they love to do. Like what? He's out. Taysom Hill play all eleven positions. I'm going Broncos too, bro. Give mm-hmm. me Broncos. Um, I'm taking Broncos seventeen ten. It's gonna be a slugfest. It's gonna be one of them games just boring to watch. Mm-hmm. Don't nobody really has yeah. yeah. But Could give me the Broncos. Deal, yeah. Next matchup, I'm going Pats. Ah. I'm going past. No, I'm not. Pats, Jacks, the showdown for the number one pick. I'm going. The worst team bowl. The Jags. Jags. The Jags is favored by five and a half. The Jags obviously going to win. The Patriots are shit. They're trash. 13 more property. So what if Drake May out oh, of nah. Trevor Lawrence? Drake May not doing that shit. He's ass. Hear me out. Nah, if Drake out. May outdoes Trevor Lawrence, if Drake May wins Sunday and gets his first career win versus Trevor Lawrence, 
do you throw the season in the garbage if you're Jacksonville and move on from Trevor Lawrence at the end of this year? Yeah. If you lose the fucking Jake May, fuck yes. Y'all the trash, bro. Y'all the worst team in the league. <laughs> I'm standing on it. <laughs> well, me personally, I'm going, going Jags. Jacksonville, you have one job. Win the game. Please win the game. This is not your Super Bowl, but if you want to consider this your Super Bowl, go ahead. You'll never see a Super Bowl. We need Travis. I need you to win. Make that happen for me. Know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. <laughs> All right, so Packers, Texans. Oh, shit. Green Bay is favorite two and a half points. <sighs> Stroud and the Texans, four and two. Love and the Texas. Packers, four and two. I'm going to take Texas. an underdog. I think that's the upset of the week. I mean, honestly, I don't think that's the upset, though. Would it's that not, upset? But upset? But by Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. That's the upset of the week. I mean, I just honestly think, bro, Stroud is a hell of a quarterback, honestly. He sees all, he makes all the good reads. He, he's an all-around quarterback, you know what I'm saying? He, he gets the ball wherever you need it. And then the running game is it, back now, you know what I'm saying? You get Mixon back, you know? So The only thing that concerns me about Houston is will they be able to contain Josh Jacobs? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they're good on the edges. I don't believe that Houston's good interior. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Like, yeah, in the trenches, I don't think, and I think that's that's going to ultimately be their, be down their downfall yeah. when it if comes they play to a the team Chiefs. like the Ravens. Yeah, Chiefs, yeah, okay, yeah, they're gonna they're just gonna get outmanned. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think Josh Jacobs, you know, we didn't already said it. Bro got 30 carries in one game. Literally. That's absolutely absurd. Literally. They can get to a point where he's just wearing and wearing and wearing down mm -hmm. on your defense. That that run block, them linemen love that shit. Yeah. They love getting at the niggas. So, you know what I'm saying? I just question that the Houston Texans can withstand Josh Jacobs in that offense, but I'm going to go with the Texans. I'm going to go Texans. I'm going to go Texans. Give me 23. 23-13. Fuck no, I'm going. Nah, twenty three seventeen. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Texans. Twenty. I think 20. they put up twenty seven. I say twenty seven. Uh, twenty three twenty. Twenty seven seventeen. Texans. Texans. You know what I'm saying? You know another game. All right, we got Lions Vikings. Minnesota is the Ooh, two and shit. a half. They got to be the game of the week. Or hell no. That's fifty one and a half point total. It's. I, I almost say it's gonna be a fucking high scoring game this weekend. Hey. The Lions offense don't the back Lions down, bro. Done. Are the Lions going to be the team to end? I'm going to keep it the band. What i seen this weekend, the Lions have every receiver up in it like bit. i seen this dude named Patrick. I ain't never seen him in the league ever. Patrick? Bro, ever. Never seen him in the league ever. Well, this he's nigga, always hurt. That's why. Like, bro, is. this nigga here, star receiver is Cowboys. They barely use the same brand. That's what, bro, they have too many weapons. I ain't going to lie. If I'm kidding, then they got the running back switcher only. Like, bro, they have too many weapons. And golf can get it to everybody too. Nah, bro. Here, golf. Yes, you true, man. He's ultimately going to be the reason why they don't win the Super Bowl. So who wins? Vikings, Lions. Who you got? I just don't know how much I can believe in Sam Darnold, bro. But I'm yeah, loving this. I story. don't either. I don't I'm loving either. This story, I never. <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I never believed in it. They got a whole half left. I never believed in. I'm just gonna keep it. Because this honestly believed. just makes. It makes the Jets look even worse. Yeah. It makes the Jets look 10 times worse because it's like, okay, now he's just stepping into a situation in Minnesota. They're undefeated, the hottest team in the league mm -hmm. right now. Why couldn't the Jets do anything with him when they first drafted him? But I'm going Lions. I'm going Lions, too. It's going to be a high-scoring game. I'm going Lions, even though they – no Hutchinson, bro. I'm going lines. I say they they get it by the skates. 37, 33. Give me Minnesota. Nah, yeah, Give you, me Minnesota. Give me Minnesota. 27-24. Fuck no. Game winning field goal. It is gonna be by field goal for sure, probably. Game winning field yeah. goal. I think B flow B flow is gonna be the one that's the game changer in this. He's gonna be the difference maker. That defense, if they can get to, to golf and create those those uh mistakes and those problems, those Batted down balls and shit. He fuck around, throw a pick or two. Bro. I'm bullshit. Jared Goff on the dudes, throw a little pressure, and we're going to get a little queasy. You know what I'm saying? going to turn a little red. Put a little, put a little, uh, nah, I almost said something Diddy word. Bro. Next. Next matchup, though. 
Next matchup. Seahawks, Falcons. Atlanta is favored three and a half points. The Seattle bounce back. Seahawks, Falcons? Seahawks, Falcons. I honestly think Seattle wins this one, bro. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I have no faith in the Falcons, bro. Honestly. They're four and two now. Bro, I have no bro. If you're giving up Drake London 13 targets a game, come on, fool. I have no faith in them. That's what receiver you... one. Exactly. Nah. Who else they gonna throw it to? Is that Keon? He getting locked up by DJ. Feel for that kid. Oh wait, what was you saying? Um, Seattle and Atlanta, bro. Why are you taking Seattle? Just cause you I have no, I have no faith in the up. Falcons. Duh. I got no faith in the Falcons at all. But you believed in the Falcons to beat Jamal the Jamal Adams still play? I'm trying to understand you, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to understand you. I, I really am. You believed in the Falcons to beat the Chiefs, but you don't think that the Falcons can beat the Seahawks? Hell yeah, no. Nah. I don't think the Falcons can Literally. It depends on the week, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, give me the Seahawks. You know what I'm saying? Give me the Seahawks. Look, man. 27. Nah, hell nah. I don't even think that's going to that. 24-17. I'm not going to lie to you. If if the Rams hadn't been facing all the injuries that they're facing this week, as far as, I mean, not this week, but this, this season, year. as far as Puka and Cooper Cup being they out, best one too. Seattle would be the worst in that damn division, mm-hmm. other than Arizona. Other than that, Seattle shouldn't really be in the mix. Like, Seattle's... Seattle's the mediocre team in that division, if you ask me. Mm. They're mediocre across the board. They're not really great anywhere. Their secondary isn't bad. Their defensive front isn't bad. But they're just not great anywhere. Like, their receivers are good, but they're not the best. Their running back is good, but he isn't the best. Their quarterback is good, but he's mid. Give me Atlanta. Mm Mm-mm. Atlanta's more complete, if you ask me. Atlanta has more of a of a <laughs> chance of winning in my eyes because you have Bijan and Drake London, bro. Then I, Kyle Pitts, Drake London. I mean, yeah, he has been put on it, but damn, when I look at Seattle, tar- all I see is if you get fourteen DK. targets a game, I nobody mean, nobody else hey, over there scoring besides DK. Give CD they four, nine. give CD fourteen targets. Look how many yards! Like, come on, now you getting somebody fourteen targets? Of course, you gotta have a hundred. That's yards. Dallas. That's just Dallas, man. Dallas got to be. Uh, they got to stop being shitty. You know what I'm saying? Chiefs, Niners, San Fran is favorite, negative one and a half, which is crazy. That's crazy as hell. It's crazy five. as fuck. I'm, hey, you know, I ain't going to lie. I'm just going to go it. Chiefs. I'm just going to straight up. Say my Chiefs. Boy. Chiefs just, they. Say you with my homeboy. He too cold, bro. Say That's you all, all I got to say. Boy. I'm leaving it at that. And then Say I honestly think it goes, what, 17 10. Like, you know, they don't really score. It's not a little high scoring game. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who I'm with. I'm rocking with my homeboy. My homeboy till I die. Give me the Chiefs. One and a half point favorite, San Francisco. I could care less. No CMC. Patrick Mahomes. One ankle. That's all he needs. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. San Francisco, we're gonna pack y'all up. We're gonna get y'all going. Um, I'm taking the Chiefs. Give me uh 24. Brock Purdy folds under pressure again. Folds in the pocket. Bro. Um uh, let's go. Uh 13, 17, somewhere around mm-hmm. there. Nothing crazy. Yeah. But he's gonna he's gonna queeze up at the end, kinda like Tua does. Bro. Not about the CTE, but we are talking about the pocket folding up on you, brother. He is going to get teeny. Trust. <laughs> Brock Purdy ain't got it. I'm trying to compare him to Tom Brady, Mr. Irrelevant. Man, last matchup we got. Mm. Bucks, Ravens. Oh, you know I'm taking the Ravens. I'm, I'm Baltimore favored by three. If I'm honestly human to being Ravens, hey, they got the most complete team in the uh, damn NFL. I mean, they get you on offense, they get you on defense. I mean, you cannot stop Derrick Henry, and you damn sure not stopping Lamar. So they made it certain. Somebody just so, got yeah. popped up to me. I don't want to say. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> It's over for them books. I'm sorry. I just don't have enough for them. They have too, they're, it's like an overpowered team, honestly, for real. I don't know. Tampa's beefy up front. So you're going to have to get Derrick Henry on the midges. <laughs> that I formation, A, A and B gap, that shit is locked the fuck up. They got Vita Vea. Vita don't play them games. Yeah, right. you going to see. Um, 
I'm gonna go with Baltimore. This is gonna be a close game for sure. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go 27 20, Baltimore. Um, I don't want to say Baker's gonna be the reason why they lose, but Baker might not have what it takes to get them, you know, over this Baltimore defense. Yeah. When you talk about Baltimore Lamar Jackson, I think that you know Baltimore is just going to be able to ultimately control the game, and that's what's going to be uh, bro, able. To you, you can't st- if you stop one, you got you can't stop the other. It's like you got to pick your poison. You know what I'm Ask saying? The Chiefs. Nah, they got to be another season. They, they're going to see them in the postseason. You know they gonna, they're going to whoop them again in the postseason. In we the do post-season. got a you know we do got a couple uh good game. I mean good uh, college football games. You know what I'm saying? What you got Alabama, Tennessee. number seven. The number 11, Tennessee. You know, I'm going Tennessee, honestly. You know, <laughs> me and Bama, we just don't get along. You know what I'm saying? I really, me, I mean, y'all win too much, honestly, bro. What? If, if there was a such thing as winning too much, I I mean, you know, it's time for a new winner. You know what I'm saying? Nick Saban going, it's time for a change, bro. We need we need a new face in college football. So I'm going Tennessee. I think Tennessee honestly gets the job done this weekend. And I got Tennessee 30-17. You know, last week you came here and you said, uh, I, I see this Jeremiah Smith kid and um, yeah, I'm going to go Ohio State. Let's hope that this not a repeat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> going against Bama again. The last time you went against Bama, bro, you were wrong. Mm-hmm. And you're going against him again. I'm going with Bama. Give me Bama. Give me Milro. Give me Ryan Williams. Mm-hmm. Give me Bama. Roll Tide, baby. I don't give a, about nothing but the Tide. Bro. I mean, and we do got this last college football game in the week. You know what I'm saying? Texas, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? The biggest game of the That's year, if you want to say. You know what I'm saying? It's a heavyweight show. I'm right going there. Texas. I'm a Texas boy. You know what I'm saying? I do. I like all the Texas, you know, Bond, you Ain't know what I'm saying? Georgia. Yours. Fuck you. Cook. You know what I'm saying? I'm, Georgia. Yeah. I'm going Texas, honestly. I'm going Texas, too. I ain't going against the team, the whole team, Max. unless you the damn Dallas Cowboys. Fuck the Cowboys. Texas, I'm rocking with you, Quinn Ewers. Let's do I it. So they get the job done. Carson Beck, you're going down, bro. 23 20. They're going to skate by. Kirby Smart, there ain't no scheme that you can put together for this team, no brother. Cow. Ain't nothing that you can do for this. This Texas team right here, we different. Hang on. This, this we way this different. Texas team. We. I'm talking about we. We way different this year. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I actually got a matchup. I wanted to mm. see what you was gonna pick on this one. It was um Illinois, Michigan. Mm. You know I'm going Illinois. You know what I'm saying? I love the Illinois offense, you know what I'm saying? Luke Altonar or Altonair, whatever his name is, you know. I love the uh Illinois offense was a car, you yeah, know what I'm saying? That kid, he be balling. The best receiver. Shout out to Car, man. In college football right now. So yeah. I almost say I'm going Illinois and I think they get the job done. Uh they like to score points, bro. Thirty to uh, 27. They skate by too, because, yeah, I think they skate by. Yeah. That's. Oh, LSU, Arkansas. Oh, what yeah, if that's Arkansas? Gonna, that's going to be a shutdown just because in Arkansas. I'm going LSU, though. You know, I love yeah. it. LSU got them dogs, bro. Notre Dame on that one. Lacey, no smart. All I'm going to say is LSU has dogs, mm. and they ain't afraid to lay down. Breach Hall to the Korea. This trash ass on my fence. What you got? Uh, That's it? That's all I got, man. She, you know? Yeah.